Oh, good. Maybe that's your mommy and daddy. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> oh my God, honey, what happened? Are you all right? <laughs> Natalie. Where's John? <laughs> Closed. Get out. What the hell are you doing in here? And what do you think you are doing with my son? Mom, it's a nightmare. I know it's a nightmare, darling. My God, what your father did to Jessica and Charlie and Rex, changing the results of the DNA test. I mean, I can't even believe he's capable of something like that. And I'm very, very worried about Charlie. But I have to believe that... In time, he'll just, he'll get past it, and so will Rex and Jesse and Brody. About them? Yeah, the thing is that at least Jesse and Brody, they knew there was a possibility that Ryder was not Brody's son. Mom, it's so much worse than that. Much, much, much worse. Hey, Jessica. Miss me? I don't know. I, I'm, I just kind of found myself in here. How did you get in? Well, I, I would have knocked, but the door was unlocked. You just let yourself in? I've got you. Breaking and entering, trespassing. Look, I, I know, Clint, you can't switch the DNA test. This is my son. This is my son. Hey, Mine and Jessica's. Go away. Leave me alone. I got rid of you. You can't be here. There are plenty of places I can't be. But when does that ever stop me? Huh? God, what is up with your dress? You look like someone's used tissue. So, Jessica, how was your day? What the hell, man? It's Valentine's Day. What part of clothes do you not understand? Hey, come on. All right, I'm going. You'll have to go home, but you can't stay here. Get out. Your drinks are on the house. everybody. Why does it look like a bomb went off while I was in the ladies' room? Get out. Honey, what, what is it? What's worse? <laughs> yes, baby. Liam is... He is a trance. <laughs> Whose baby is he? <laughs> You were supposed to get married today, but then you find out that your caveman fiance is not really your baby daddy, but instead he is your sister's. I turned my back for one second. I'm not listening to you. I got rid of you before, and I can do it again. I can make you go away. Oh, come on, Jessica, lighten up. You know you don't want me to go anywhere. Why would you? Because you're a psycho. You say it like it's a bad thing. Come on, Jessica, let's face it. I am here because you cannot handle this disaster on your own. So let's just cut to the chase and let me come back to her. Oh, come on, Jess, admit it. You are in way over your head with Natalie. Just like the last time that redhead screwed you over, letting you out was the biggest mistake of my life. Compared to trusting Natalie again, this isn't even close. You've been so busy being like, oh my god, Natalie, we're so connected, we're twins, ugh, gag me. You didn't even notice that she was lying to you the whole time. I mean, not only did she do it with Brody, she got knocked up with his kid. Way to screw up your life, baby cakes. 
And I will fix it without you. No, you won't. I can handle that bitch. I took care of Natalie before. I can take care of her again. How could Brody be the father of your baby? Because I lied. <laughs> I've been lying to everyone for months, including Brody. I just told him. I just told him that Liam is his. He had no idea. So you slept with Brody? Yeah, yes. And all this time you let John believe that Liam was his son? Yes. Where's John now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We had a huge fight. Oh, it was... It was so awful. He's... He's never gonna speak to me again. <laughs> Why are you here drinking alone? Should you be with Natalie? I thought I told you to get out. Well, I wish I could. But in case you haven't noticed, I've had a couple of drinks. Maybe a couple more. You need to call me a cab. You got a phone? Call your own cab. Leave me alone. Well, if it's any consolation, I had a crappy day, too. <laughs> I doubt it was as crappy as mine. Oh. You want a bet? And what are you doing here? I have rights. <laughs> rights, rights. You didn't want to have anything to do with this baby, and now you are rights. That was before I found out that I might be this baby. You are nothing to this boy. And the sooner you get that through your thick skull, the better. I thought you were going to that show. Listen, man, I, I know it must have been tough for you to find out that this is not your son. You. Don't know anything about it. Now I have told you, Ryder is my son. Now you get the hell out of here. I will go in a minute. You will go now. You want to know why my day was worse than yours? The guy I have loved since I was practically a kid and who I recently realized I still love married someone else today. And if I really wanted to be a glutton for punishment, I could have been a witness. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. I doubt that. Hey, I practically pushed them together. Now, if I, if I had just backed off, you know, and let things take their course, then you know what? Who knows? Who knows? But no, I thought showing them some stupid footage on some stupid flash drive was gonna change things. But Joey, Joey, now he hates me. He hates me. God, am I stupid. You think you're stupid? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little thing about stupid. You're, you can't even compare your stupid to my stupid. Okay. Let me tell you something, for nine months I have been sitting around blind to something that was right underneath my nose the whole time. So stupid. What the hell are you talking about? I wanted, I wanted Liam to be John, and I kind of thought he was, or I hoped he was, and I, I've, I've messed everything up. Now John hates me. No, darling, I'm sure he doesn't hate you. Oh, you didn't see him, Mom. Darling, you know what? He's, he's very, very angry. I'm sure. Keeping a secret like that from him? What were you thinking? I don't know. You know, I didn't mean for it to go this far. It's... Brody and I were single when it happened, and you know, we just weren't gonna say anything. We wanted to protect Jessica. And and then Jess and Brody, they were so happy, finally. And then John, and I, I just didn't want to destroy all of that. And now it looks like that's exactly what I've done. No. <laughs> I know that John loves you, and I know that he loves this little boy. It's gonna take some time, but I'm sure he'll find a way to understand. How? Liam is Brody's son. <laughs> what? Please, that is good. Do I look like I'm joking? No, you don't. You were there. You heard that guy, Vemmel? He said there was two paternity tests. Oh, my God. Natalie and Brody. And 
didn't see it. Nine whole months that I didn't see it. Get your hands off me. You were lucky I don't haul you in for attempted kidnapping. Listen, you can have an advantage all you want, but that is my son in there and there's a DNA test to prove it. You think I give a damn what some test says? I christened that boy. We named him after my grandfather. And you were gonna have nothing to do with him, you understand? Actually, I think I'm gonna take this up with Jessica. After all, Ryder's her son, not yours. Okay, all right, the only all right, reason, right. the only reason you're this baby's father is because you practically raped Jessica when she wasn't in her right mind. And if you think I'm gonna let you anywhere near Jessica or our boy, you're dead wrong. Oh, come on, Jessica. You can tell me. It's just us girls. I don't want to tell you anything. Not even that you want my help? I know you do. Your life sucks right now, and it's all because of Natalie. I know that you are dying to give that little bitch what she deserves. You're wrong. I'm stronger than that. You're not getting out. I won't let you. Okay, fine. You don't want my help? No skin off my tight little ass. But I am not just a little bit curious. About what? You know what it was like, Brody and Natalie, together. Watch it. All hurt and mad and licking their wounds. <laughs> How hot is that? Drunk, angry sex. Pow! One time and they got a baby. <laughs> That's enough. Oh, you're right. Maybe it was more than just once. Just a thought of it gives me a tingle. I wonder if you pinned her up against the wall when they did it. Bet she never does that with you. I'm not, I'm not listening to this. Oh, what's the matter, Jesse? Is all this sex talk making you nervous? Is that because your daddy Mitch tried to make a baby with you? Isn't that what sent you all the way back to being that chirpy little virgin you were in high school? Shut up. And then when you couldn't get Christian, you just hopped in bed with Ford and Natalie got Brody and you got Zip. Unless you count Ford's little bastard. I said shut up!